Hey, this is Tony. I'm a farmer. And guess what? It's that time of the season where you have a few extra tomatoes that, you know, are not perfect that you want to take the market, right? And so I walked into one of my clubs and I got a chance to run across Chef Scott. Hey, Chef. How are you doing here? And what Chef Scott says, you know what? Why don't you make tomatoes? Not tomato sauce, but like... Uh, well, here, here we're taking uh, uh, over-ripened Tony's tomatoes here. And, and we're gonna make tomato juice. Tomato juice. Okay. We're, so we're just making tomato juice. So we cored them, and, and we quartered them, and then we threw them in our pot on, on a low flame. And uh, all the all the juice, all the water from the tomatoes, just coming up to the top. We're gonna cook this until the tomatoes have kind of uh, everything kind of looks cooked, and uh, then we're gonna uh, blend it, pass it through a strainer. Okay. And then uh, the, the family recipe, I don't know if they'll really want me to give it out, but here it goes. Okay. So the recipe is uh, per, per mason jar here, per, I think it's uh, 64 ounces here. Uh, we're going to add one teaspoon of salt and one tablespoon of white vinegar. So one tablespoon of white vinegar and one teaspoon of salt. This is the key. This is your family secret the, recipe. So we hope your wife doesn't get upset. <laughs> so let me ask you a quick question here. How long does it cook, or how long has this been cooking here? Let's see. This went on about 11.30. 11.30? Now, I had it on low flame, though. On low flame. So how do you know it's ready? What do you do to check to make sure that it's ready? Well, so if you see tomatoes like this, they're still, you know, firm. And, and they're not cooked all the way through. We're looking for tomatoes that are kind of getting to this stage right here. Okay. So... We added nothing to this. This was just straight fresh tomatoes. No preservatives, no no shortcuts, no nothing. Just and straight tomatoes. Yeah, you know, I don't know how long you've been cooking this, but it has a smell like Campbell's tomato soup. Campbell's tomato soup, right? It's, wow. It's, it's, the the smell, smell, the aroma is, you know, it, it smells like tomato juice versus the stuff we get out of, you know, we buy through uh, our purveyors. Okay, so then the next step here is once it's ready uh -huh. and it smells like Campbell's soup, right? then you strain it. Right. No, we will we'll blend it. We'll blend it in our blender. Okay. And then we'll strain it to make sure there's no seeds. So everybody has a food processor these days, right? Right. right. Hard and blend it up. Right. And then we'll then we'll have the juice, and then it the can it properly. There's I, I know there's a few methods, and I'm sure everyone has their own, but uh, I bring that juice up to a boil, and then I pour it into my my mason jar, and then I'll seal it. And since that tomato juice is at least 212 degrees, or it's really hot. It should seal properly. If not, we'll dunk it into the hot water bath to make sure it seals properly. Okay. All right. That's an old classic you know, step that you make there. Okay. Great. So, so you just slide us in on the family secret. Chef, thank you very much. Anytime. Hey, this is Tony bringing it to you.